Hello everyone, welcome to another technical video brought to you by Frontier Precision. Today we're going to look at doing a firmware upgrade on the radio detection um, 8200 and 7200 um, cable and pipe locators. So the, uh, the way this is done is through a software called RD Manager Online. So first let's take a look at where we um, get the RD Manager Online software. So to begin, uh, you're just going to open your web browser and go to the radiodetection.com website. And then on the top under the search bar, we can simply, you can see I've done it already here, simply do a search for RD Manager Online. And here you'll see in the search results the RD Manager Online software. So you can go ahead and pick on that page and scroll down to the bottom. And here are the, um, the zip files that you can download to install the software. Uh, once RD Manager Online is installed, uh, you can open up the software and it'll look something like this. And the first thing you're going to need to do is to sign into the software. So up in the upper left hand corner, we're going to pick the sign in button. And here is where you can enter in your RD Manager Online uh, username and password. If you don't currently have a username or password, you can pick the sign up here button right here and fill out all the necessary fields and create an account. Um, so once account, the account is created, I'll just key in my credentials here. Oops. And then hit log in. And now you can see um, up on the top when you're logged in. So the first thing you're going to need to do um, when there's a new version of firmware that is released, um, as an example, um, Radio Detection had just released a new firmware. Um, and I have a 8200G uh, locator here that I'm going to update the firmware. And so the first thing we need to do is in the upper right hand corner, there's this little uh, wrench icon here for options. And if you pick that button, you'll get a selection here that says check for updates. So we're going to go ahead and choose that. And what that is going to do is go out into the um, our radio detection database and pull up the update manager and tell you um, what's available. So it'll tell you your current um, installed version and the downloadable version and so on. So if we look at the 8200G, which I have here, you can see right now I have the 1.9.24 and the available version now is 2.0.25.0. Um, but I'm simply just going to select the um, the G here. I don't even think it matters. I think I'm just going to go ahead and download. Yes. And now it's going to go through and run through the process of downloading the files. I don't think I necessarily have to pick it here. Just pick download and it'll it'll run the updates without selecting the model. You can see the progress. Um, the software is downloading all of the necessary updates and everything to not only update the RD Manager Online software if needed, but also um, download the latest firmware um, files for the locators. Okay, this looks to me like it's done. The green bar is all the way across. We're going to go ahead and hit exit. And now what we need to do is plug in our um, locator. So for the 8200, we have a simple USB a connection The cable is not provided. So go out and find a cable. Um, you can use a USB C to C. Um, it should work. I find the USB C to a cable um, seems to work good on the locator itself. Uh, you can see here I have the rechargeable um, battery pack. If you're using the C batteries, I believe if you take this off with the batteries in it, there's power supplied through the cable that will power the locator. Um, during the update process, but I'll pull this out here and you can see this is just a standard USB-C cable and the port is right under the battery. So we're going to go ahead and plug that. Oops. There we go. Get that plugged back in. And now that it's plugged in, we want to turn on our locator and you can see it says COM1, which is telling it that it recognizes a connection. And then under the um, under the screen here, you can see that it's identifying the unit in the RD Manager software. As it identifies the unit, you can see it pull up the serial number and the information here on the right hand side. 
and now we can see that we're connected. You can also look down here and you can see that we do have a USB um, connection and the um, unit details down here as well. So the next thing we need to do to update the software would be to pick the software update tab. And you can see here that the current software on the unit is 1924 and the upgrade will be to 20.25. If there's no upgrade available, these numbers will likely be the same and the right button will be uh, grayed out and you won't be able to select it. But at this point to do the update, all we need to do is hit right and the software will start doing the, um, the update. You can also see on the 8200 itself, the screen now says SWUPD for software update, and it tells you the percentage um, that the update is complete on the screen here. So you won't necessarily see it on the RD Manager online software, but you'll see the progress um, shown on the actual 82G or 7200, whatever your locator is that you're updating. All right, here you can see we're about uh, six and a half minutes in and we're right about 93%. So it takes, you know, five to 10 minutes to do. Uh, we're 95 here and pretty close, 96. All right, looks like we're at 99%, just about done, right about seven minutes or so, and 100%. Okay, it says wait, and now it says done. So it took about eight minutes um, to complete, and it says done on the uh, 8200G. So now um, what it'll do is basically reconnect to the um, RD Manager Online Software, which you can see here. So it's kind of like rebooted itself as an example. I don't know if that's exactly what I would call it, but it's, it's, it's reestablished the, the connection and the update is complete. One thing you can do if you wish is you can go um, ahead and un, you know unplug or disconnect and just verify that the upgrade's done. It shouldn't be necessary, but we'll do that just to be on the safe side here. So I'm going to unplug. You can see that we're disconnected. Plug back in and turn my unit on. I'll take just a minute to um, establish the connection. Here we go. And once the connection is established, it should give us our current uh, software information. And there we go. You can see we went from the old version up to the new one. So the uh, the 8200G here in my office is now updated to the latest firmware. Um, one of the main things is this kind of gets rid of that, um, I believe it was a 333 error that would show up on the, on the uh, locators. So we should be all updated and all set and ready to roll. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.